Well, you started off really hot. And the, the team is starting off this year really hot. What is the difference between this year and previous years? Um, as a team and Coach Mike has been starting off the whole season with defense, defense, defense. It's all we're about. And uh, it showed tonight, I mean, holding a team to 22 points is uh, that doesn't happen a lot in high school basketball, and that's what we're trying to do the rest of the season, too. You really control the defensive boards tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, we do a lot of tough drills in practice that get it really annoying, but they pay pay greatly in the games. So. Yeah. What did you see out there? I mean, early on, you, you were hitting it. I mean, you had 10 of the first 12 points. Yeah, I mean, they were giving me open lanes to the hoop, and I just uh, exploited the holes and uh, got some great passes from Zaire and Matt Seidner, Luke, too. And uh, just teammates putting me in the right spot to score. Yeah. What have you done in the offseason to step your game up? Um, I played AAU, uh, going to a lot of showcases I got invited to. I was lucky to do that. And just Coach Mike has gotten everyone into the into the gym, shooting on the gun, in the weight room, just getting better. Yeah. Good. Good job. Thank you. All right. Good win tonight. Thank you. Uh, we are 4-0 right now. That's pretty good. We're off to a very good start. We're off to a very good start. The kids are working extremely hard, and um, it's starting to pay off uh, on the court. So, What do you think some of the differences are between uh, this year and last year or, or previous years? Uh, you know what? Um, the kids have really dedicated themselves to the defensive side, and that it's showing up. Um, we, we go in with a game plan, and the kids are executing the game plan extremely, extremely well. I don't know. I can't say for sure what the difference is, but these kids are hungry, and they are, they are doing an excellent job on the defense end, and that is putting us in a lot of games and letting us be at the end in a lot of the games. So. You really control the, the defensive boards in this one. Yeah, the, uh, we work on it every day in practice. That's one of the things that our team takes a lot of pride in, um, is just controlling the boards and going up and just being very dominant on the defensive boards. And for the first three games, we did an excellent job, and we continue it tonight. They're working extremely hard, and we're boxing out, and we're going up and getting the ball very strong. How long have you been the assistant coach here? I was uh, assistant under my brother for about 13 years. Right. Well, I was the JV coach, and this is my first year as the varsity coach. Right. So, I mean, I think what what it attributes a lot of the success is that you know the kids; they know you. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it was a very easy transition. My brother um, did a phenomenal job up at the varsity level, and he taught me a lot. And when I go into a drill, I could call out a drill, and the players know what I'm talking about, and they know what they know what to expect in my practice. It's a little different. Um, I do a couple different things, but um, they know exactly what to expect in my practice, and they, they're ready for it. So. It's, it's early in the season. Well, we know your team's looking good right now. It's probably going to look a lot better as the season goes on because, you know, you get, yep. you get more uh, skills and all that stuff happens and connectivity. What are we going to see in this team? What is this team going to look like at the end of January? You know what? I, what I envision this team to be is just be a hard-nosed defensive team and just be extremely, extremely dominant. I'm not going to say dominant. Extremely good on the on the defensive boards. Oh, this on on the rebounding side the whole time. Um, like I said, we work out of our you know two-hour practice. You know, hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes is on defense and rebounding. So we spend a lot, a lot of time. So hopefully now that we're starting to pick up some of the defensive stuff that we're doing, our offense will start to click a little better now that we can kind of hone back on the defense and start to work a little more on the offense and we did not have a great offensive game today they did a very good job taking us out of some of our offensive sets and we did not execute very well so hopefully the offense will start coming around a little more consistently but um what i envision is the defense being there throughout the year good job thank you very much all right Thank you. It was a pleasure to watch. Thank you. Well, I think, you know, you, you, you want these matchups because it's a double-A school against a class C school, right? So, you know, you, you're getting all that. Um, playing against bigger schools is probably going to make you better. But it gotta be, it's got to be painful to, uh, to be able to go through this game and score only 22 points. Painful. Painful. <laughs> uh, I looked up. I thought it was halftime, but it was the fourth quarter. So, um, painful, but, uh, you know, hats off to, to catch him. Coach Payne doing a great job. They're a physical team, um, and, and they did a great job on help defense and, and pressure on the ball. And, uh, you know, and that's why we only scored 22. Um, we didn't shoot well, but we didn't shoot well because they had hands in our faces, and, and you know, we were off balance a little bit. Um, you know, on, on the flip side, I'm happy we, we, we held the double-A school to 39 points. They're the best team we played all year by far. And we've been giving up 50, 60 points, and we're 3-1. and one. 
we hold them to 39, I'm thinking maybe, we, you know, we told me we hold them to 39, maybe we're winning 40 to 39. Um, you know, we lose lose by 17, but some good things happen tonight. You know, we're, we're trying to, um, you know, we, obviously we got to improve the offense, but you got to give credit to, to catch them. It's early in the season, you know, so everybody's kind of feeling their way, and this team will, will get some connectivity and some cohesiveness as the season goes on. What will we see Haldane looking like at the end of January? You know, we're always a better team at the end of January. Uh, we have guys playing different sports, and, and we gel. Um, we're, we're, our goal is to win it three years in a row. Um, and, and we want to be back at the county center. We want to be in that game. Um, can we get there? Absolutely. You know, we got to believe in each other, continue believing in each other, continue knowing our roles, and continue working hard every day. You know, tomorrow will be a sign of where we're going to be in the January, depending on how we bounce back after our first loss and only scoring 22. You know, are we going to feel sorry for ourselves? Are we going to get back to work tomorrow at 3 o'clock and get better so that we're 4-1 and one and not 3-2? and two? So that's the goal, you know. But uh, we have potential. We have potential. We have, we have guys that want to win that are team players that are learning their roles uh, younger. You know, we didn't return much, and uh, I, I'm happy where we're at. We're, we're in a good spot right now, 3-1, and one, and we lost 95% of our offense. You know, we've been averaging 68 points. Not so much tonight, but, you know, we'll, we'll get back after it.